हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ वेब प्रोग्रामिंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज पॉप अप बॉक्सेस आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर मिस श्रुति रावल सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ वट डू यू मीन बाई पॉप अप बॉक्सेस सो मेनी टाइम्स यू हैव सीन इन अ वेब पेज दैट यू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अलर्ट बॉक्स और प्रॉम्प्ट बॉक्स अलर्ट बॉक्सेज आर जस्ट इन्फॉर्मेटिव बॉक्सेज वेर एज प्रॉम्प्ट बॉक्सेज और कन्फर्म बॉक्सेज टेक सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर If you want to create such type of pop-up boxes in JavaScript, JavaScript provides ready-made uh, methods which you can use and create such pop-up boxes. Let us see what are the three types of pop-up boxes which are highly used in JavaScript. So the first type of pop-up box, as we have discussed, is alert box, which is just an informative box in which if you can, uh, you can just display any information to the user. The next type of box is a confirm box. So if you want to take some sort of confirmation from the user, and based on the confirmation, yes or no, if you want to further perform some action, that is, if the user is pressing yes you want to perform some particular action and if the user is pressing no you want to perform some particular other action then you can use confirm box and the last type of pop up box is prompt box along with a uh, you can say okay button it also has a text box in the pop up box itself in which user can input some uh, data from the keyboard and you can further do some sort of logic manipulation on that particular input right now let us see in detail each of these pop up boxes and the method that is used for getting such pop up so first type of pop up box as we have discussed is alert box right so if you want to get an alert box uh, you can use this method called alert right now this alert is the method of window object so you can either write window dot alert or you know that window is the root object in javascript so it is okay if you skip the object name and you directly write the method name so by skipping the object name you can just write alert the method and inside the alert method in double quotation you have to write a string that you want to get displayed on your alert box which is just an information for the user right so for example here i have written alert in double quotation your message is here right so you will get this type of uh, pop up box here you can see that you have a pop up box and uh, you have a message that is return on the pop up box you have an okay button so user has no you can say interactivity other than pressing okay with the alert box right just this is just for displaying any sort of information now the next type of pop up box was confirm box i have already told you that confirm box lets the user to pick up a choice right so when you want such a choice to be taken from the user you can use confirm box so again i told you that uh, this all the three methods are basically the methods of window object so you can use it along with the window object or you can skip the window object here i have written window dot confirm and inside you have to pass some sort of message right so for example if you want to say that uh, either press okay or cancel you have to write that sort of message so that user gets an idea what he or she needs to do with this particular box that is your pop up box right so you have to write the message that comes inside this argument you can store the result in some variable now what will be stored in the variable basically what is the outlook of the confirm box this is the sort of outlook that you will get inside the uh, confirm box so this was the message that you have written inside the method that is are you ready to confirm right you will get two buttons contrast to the uh, alert box in which you had only one button okay so the user was compelled to click okay here the user has two choices either the user can press okay button or he or she can press cancel button right 
so if the user presses ok button basically uh, what is returned in this method true is returned and if the user presses the cancel button what is returned false is returned so a boolean value is returned you can store this boolean value in some variable for example you can see in the example i have stored it uh, in where result so in result if the user is pressing ok true will be stored and if he or she is pressing cancel false will be stored so based on this result you can perform further any logic calculation right and the last type of pop-up box is a prompt box so i have already told you that prompt box along with the uh, button it also provides you a text box in which user can input something right so what will be returned uh, by this method basically whatever value the user is uh, you can say entering into the text box that value will be returned and you can store that value in the variable right so what will be the outlook of the prompt box this is the outlook of the prompt box the message again that you want to get displayed on this pop-up box you have to write inside the method argument right the next thing is you just have to specify the message by default the message will be displayed you will get a text box along with the text box you will have two buttons ok and cancel so user will uh, enter something inside the text box and he will press ok or enter right so this is how you can use this text input in which whatever input the user is entering inside the text box you can catch that input and uh, this method will return that particular value and you can store that inside the variable and further again you can apply some sort of logic to that entered value right so these are three distinguished pop-up boxes that you can use in javascript let us do one program so that you can get a clear idea that how to use this pop-up boxes okay so here you can see i have used three pop-up boxes for all of them i have created a separate function and i have three buttons and uh, if i click on each of them different function will be called so for one button i have uh, alert box that i have called function that the second button if i click on the second button the function that will be called will be for the confirm box and if i click on the third button the function that will be called is for the prompt box right so that will make things easier for us to understand now let us learn or try to understand what have i done in each of this function so here you can see I have the first function my alert box and inside my alert box simply I have called the method of window object alert and you know that alert pop-up box is just an informative pop-up box which just lets the user to get an idea of some sort of information he or she does not have any interaction uh, just apart from clicking an ok button right so here you can see in the alert i have passed one message that i am an alert box so as soon as i click on this particular uh, alert box so as this function is called inside my first button what will happen basically i will get an alert box with a message i am an alert box right so let us run this program and uh, try to call it you can see that here i have the first button inside my html code and inside the event attribute on click i have called my function my alert box right so this function will be called and as soon as this function is called what will be displayed an alert box will be displayed let us see so i'll run this file so you can see that as soon as i run this file i have three button right so this is the first button in which i have called the alert function this is the second button in which i have called the confirm function and this is the third uh, button for which i have called the prompt function so if i click on the first button try it you can see that here i get an alert box with just a message displayed i am an alert box with an ok button if i click on this ok button 
the alert box disappears right so this was the first function for alert function now uh, the next function that we are going to see is for the confirm method and recall what was the confirm method confirm method was basically taking a choice from user right and the method itself returns the boolean value true or false if the user was clicking on ok button the boolean value was returned true and if the user was clicking on cancel button the boolean value that was returned was false you can catch this boolean value and store it inside some variable that is the exact thing that we have done over here so here you can see i have called the confirm method obviously in each of the pop up boxes there is a message that is to be displayed on the pop up ui so whatever message you want to display that you have to pass inside the parameters so i have pass this message do you want to continue that will be displayed on your pop up box now if the user clicks okay what will be stored in my this variable ans true will be stored and if the user clicks on cancel button that is displayed on the pop up box what will be stored inside my ans false will be stored further i can apply some logic based on what is stored inside my ans variable so here you can see i have used an if condition all the c syntax of if condition switch case for loop while loop operators exactly is the same that you have uh, already learned in c that syntax is as it is in javascript so here you can see that i am using if condition inside if condition i have to specify the condition so you know that inside this variable ans either the value is stored is true or false so in if condition i am checking that if ans is equal to is equal to true so i am using this comparison operator in which if the value that is stored inside ans is true i am getting or writing the output that is document dot write hurray right else in else it means when will be this else condition uh, called when the user is clicking on cancel because if user is clicking on cancel what will happen ans will have false that will be stored inside it right so as soon as the user cancels this uh, particular button this particular condition will be called and inside document dot write what is the thing that i have printed better luck next time so there will be two things uh, you have the choice either you can click okay or cancel now let us run this program and uh, try to understand it more this is the second button on which i have called this function that is you can see that this is the second button on which i have called the function my confirm box and inside my confirm box which is a method that i have called confirm so let us click on this button as soon as i click on this button you can see the pop up box that is a confirm pop up box the message that is displayed that i have passed was do you want to continue and that is being displayed over here on the pop up box do you want to continue along with the message i have two uh, buttons okay and cancel now first let us click on okay and you know that if i click on okay what is the text that will be displayed hurray so you can see as soon as i click on okay the text that is being displayed is hurray right again i am reloading the page let us click on the second button again and uh, now instead of clicking on okay button i will click on cancel button and recall what was being printed on cancel button yes better luck next time so let us try to click on this and yes you are getting this output better luck next time right now let us see the last function my prompt box and inside this which is the method that i have called prompt method so you know that prompt is used when you want to take some sort of input and you want to act on that input that is based on the user input what will be the outlook on the prompt box you will have a text box you will have okay and cancel button right 
so what will be returned whatever thing that you write inside the text box that will be returned and you can store that thing inside a variable so here you can see i have declared a variable name in prompt what is the message that i have passed enter your name so that user can get an idea that what is the thing that i have to write inside the text box my name right so as soon as user enters the name inside the prompt box that name whatever name you have input that will be stored inside which variable the variable over here that is n a m e name and what have i done further with this particular variable i have just return document dot write and whatever name that is being already stored in name i have just displayed that name on my screen this my prompt box this function i have called on the third button that is the third try it button so as soon as i click on the third try it button this my prompt box function will be called and inside that prompt method will be called right so let us run this program and uh, see what happens so here you can see that there is the third button try it as soon as i click on the try it button i get this prompt box and you have a text box inside the prompt box you have an okay and cancel button now the message that was displayed was enter your name so let us enter my name i have entered shruti and as soon as i click on okay what am i getting yes because i have uh, stored this particular name into a variable and then i have just displayed this variable using document dot write so shruti is being displayed on my screen right now you can get an idea that there are many things that you can do with prompt box right so your task for today is uh, create a prompt box tell the user to enter a number you have to just check whether the enter number is even or odd right so that is your homework for today using prompt box check if the number is even or odd right please run this program and send me the screenshot on whatsapp so this was all about uh, the pop up boxes that are readily available in javascript you can uh, customize this pop up boxes using css you can change the styling as well it is upon you right uh, so yes this was all about uh, today's lecture thank you